I am tired of being skinny. I'm tired of being weak, low energy, lethargic, having bad posture. I'm tired of having chronic neck and shoulder pain. I'm tired of having a mild case of scoliosis, which I literally just found out about. That's not great. I'm also just tired of not being fit and not feeling like I'm at my optimal health. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. This pandemic took a lot out of me, not only mentally and emotionally, but physically as well. And at this point, I'm just ready to find my way back. So I decided to stop complaining all the time, <laughs> regain some control and start making some lifestyle changes. A little glow up, if you will. It's day one, so I'm starting off the morning with some pre-workout. I was kind of nervous about this because it contains caffeine and caffeine can give me a lot of anxiety, but it just gave me a lot of focused energy to complete my workout that day. I didn't feel anxious at all. Now, I only filmed my last set of lifts. There were other people in the gym and this was my first day and I felt kind of intimidated, so I wasn't feeling super confident, but I'm still proud of myself for completing the first day of workouts. Now, I downloaded the MyFitnessPal app on my phone so that I can start counting calories. It's something I've never really done before, but if I'm working out, then I just wanna make sure that I'm eating enough food to properly fuel my body, so it is what it is. Now, lunch came around and I wanted to eat my entire bowl of food. I think it was like 600 calories or something like that. I have a small stomach, so honestly, it was really difficult to finish all this food. I was gagging and I felt like I was gonna throw up, but I did end up finishing the whole bowl eventually. <laughs> I think my body was just shocked by how much food I was consuming because I don't usually eat this much. One lesson that I've learned from this experience is that I probably have not been eating enough food. Like if this lunch was 600 calories, then I was definitely not eating enough day to day. Now for a snack, I had one of these Quest bars. You'll see later in the video, but these things have been saving me so bad. <laughs> for dinner, I did not have an appetite. I wasn't hungry, but I knew I needed to eat more. Now, I didn't feel like having a quote unquote real meal, so I opted for some Greek yogurt, and I also added some trail mix and granola to add more calories. All right, folks, it's dinner time, and I don't feel like eating a proper or like a real meal, so I'm trying to have some yogurt, like a yogurt bowl. But the thing is, I checked my, uh, my fitness pal, and I have to eat 500 calories to hit my <laughs> daily goal. So I'm literally looking in the pantry for things to add to this bowl. So I have um, yogurt. I have um, one third cup of granola. I just added one fourth cup of trail mix because this is 160 calories for one fourth cup. And then I think after that, I'm gonna add a, a banana or like eat a banana on the side or something. And that ended up being okay. I met my calorie requirement for the day. I met my protein requirement for the day. So I was pretty happy about that. All right, folks. So I'm about to get ready to go to sleep. So I wanna do my skincare routine. Um, this portion of the video is sponsored by Sephora Collection. They do have a line of clean beauty products that are all under $20. And they have some products in their line that are actually really great dupes for products that I featured on my channel or products that are like cold favorites. So I'm gonna start off by washing my face. So I'm gonna use the Sephora Collection Clean Skin Gel uh, Cleanser, Facial Cleanser. If you've ever used the Fresh Soy like Facial Cleanser, this has a very, very similar um, consistency and texture. If you've ever used that cleanser, it's very like, I wanna say slimy, but also very silky. It feels really good on the skin. And this cleanser by Sephora Collection has a very, very similar texture to it. Um, it's like very slimy, as you can see. 
Um, so this one's very similar. Um, the Soy Face Cleanser is $38. This one by Sephora Collection is $10. So I think it's a really great dupe um, for a very similar product. And also, in my opinion, this one smells a little bit better. <laughs> And just remember, everything is connected. Your skin health is connected to your mental health, which is connected to your physical health. Everything is connected. So it's really important for me as I go on this glow up journey to um, take care of all facets of my being. So the next product that I'm going to use is a serum. I actually just got this. This is by The Ordinary. It's the Buffet Serum. I've been wanting to try out their products for years now. I just never got around to it. I don't know why, but we're finally here. Also, I love the packaging. <laughs> Very clean and minimal. All right, so before I do moisturizer, I'm going to apply an eye cream. So this is the Sephora Collection Brightening Eye Cream. You've probably seen this on my channel. Um, a million times before <laughs> over the past couple of years but this has a very very similar consistency to the belief moisturizing eye balm it has like a cream consistency and it's very the texture is very um i don't want to use the word silky again but it is very like silky and lightweight and it feels very like cushiony under the eyes and i don't like eye creams that are too heavy because Thick eye creams makes it feel like I'm sweating under my eyes, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I like um, really lightweight eye creams like this one, but it's also very hydrating. It has like hyaluronic acid and things like that. So this eye cream by Sephora Collection is $17 and the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm is $48. So very similar product, very different costs. <laughs> Okay, and to top off my skincare routine, I'm going to apply a lip sleeping mask. So this is the lip sleeping mask by Sephora Collection. This is the vanilla flavored one. This smells so good. Ugh. So you guys know that I love the Laneige sleeping mask. I love that product. This one's very, very similar. Um, the difference is the Laneige one comes in like a little jar and it has like a spatula. This one is a little bit easier to use because it just comes in like a little tube. So you just apply it to your finger and then apply it to your lips. Very similar formula, very similar texture. Just makes your lips feel super hydrated. The biggest difference is that the Laneige sleeping mask is $22 and this one is $5. <laughs> so do with that information what you will. One thing that I love about the formula of this thing is that it comes out as a balm, but when you apply it to your lips, it just like melts into your lips and like moisturizes like all of the cracks and crevices and things like that. And then when you wake up the next morning, your lips are not like cracked and dry and ashy. Can you get ashy lips? Yeah, I've had, I've had ashy lips before. <laughs> you know what? I should have brushed my teeth before I applied that lip mask. So let me brush my teeth and then I'm going to reapply this. <laughs> Thank you Sephora Collection for sponsoring this portion of the video. The next day I was so sore that I literally couldn't even like sit on the toilet. <laughs> I had myself a little rest day. I went on a morning walk just to get like my muscles and joints moving. I forgot to vlog this, but I'm about to start my period soon and I was craving pizza. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and get some pizza. And this is probably the best pizza I've ever had. So I got a margarita pizza and then I added spinach, caramelized onions, and pineapple and mushrooms. And yes, pineapple on pizza, that is what we do in this house. And it was fantastic. Um, and I do not feel guilty about it one bit. Probably not the healthiest choice, but it did help my calorie intake that day. Another thing that has really been helping me meet my daily calorie goals that I mentioned before are Quest bars. They're like 20 to 30 grams of protein per bar, 200 calories per bar. Whenever I need some quick protein and calories, I just eat a Quest bar. I also put some Quest bars in my car just in case, you know, like 
I'm out and about and I feel like forgot to eat or something, I just have that like in my little console in my car. Some other honorable mentions are grapes and bananas, easy snacks, high calories. They are very loved in this household. Now, day three was rough. <laughs> I was even more sore than I was yesterday, so I made the executive decision to take another rest day. Surprisingly, I am not hating the gym at this point. I was very eager to get back in the gym, but I was just so sore and I didn't want to risk an injury, so I just chilled that day, you know what I'm saying? Your girl just relaxed. Day four, I was back in the gym. I was using a new machine. I was doing some new workouts. I felt good. I was still sore, but not nearly as sore as I was the past two days. You know, it was very tolerable. I wasn't uncomfortable or anything. And after I work out, I like to make my little like green protein smoothie, which is basically just a scoop of protein powder, oat milk, a frozen banana, and two handfuls of spinach. Easy, delicious, nutrient dense. Now, by day five, I was feeling real good. I was feeling very motivated. I felt stronger. I was feeling good. So I decided to go out and go shop for new workout sets because I've never really been intentional with my active wear. Like if you look at what's in my active wear drawer, it's just like a bunch of mismatched stuff that I was never intentional with. So I just wanted to like treat myself and kind of continue this feeling of motivation and excitement. Plus, when you are wearing like a cute workout set, you just feel cuter. You know what I'm saying? Life is too short to not feel cute. So why not? Am I right, folks? Huh? Anyone? Yeah. Now, this was Labor Day weekend, so my dad stopped by to hang out over the weekend, and I asked him if he could go over some Filipino martial arts drills with me. We just saw Shang-Chi, and the martial arts in that film is incredible, so it just inspired me to pick up my Kali sticks again. So in addition to my workout that day, I also did some Kali drills. Now I do have some thoughts. I am surprised by how much I am enjoying weightlifting. I am very much enjoying working out. I thought I was gonna hate it because in the past I've done like, you know, other workout programs and things like that. And I absolutely dreaded getting out in the morning to work out. <laughs> but for some reason with weightlifting, like I, I'm just having so much fun. <laughs> I really enjoy it and I've already noticed a difference in my posture. I feel way more balanced. I feel a little bit stronger. I also have a lot more energy because I'm just eating more food. It's easier to go to sleep. I don't know, I'm just, I'm feeling real good. Like this is kind of an addicting feeling. Like it feels good to feel good. <laughs> Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about the specific workouts that I do. Personally, I follow the Boney to Bombshell program, and this is a program that is targeted specifically at naturally skinny women who have a hard time gaining weight and have a hard time building muscle. Now, I paid for the program, but honestly, there are so many really great free articles on their blog. They're just full of information and resources. So if you're interested in reading some of those, I'll leave that in the description box down below. I'll also link some of my favorite articles from that website too. Another recommendation that I have for you guys is this book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. I am so glad that I started reading this book the same day that I started working out. There are a lot of really great practical tips that's backed by science for kind of like establishing and building good habits and kind of breaking down or dismantling bad habits. I would highly recommend reading this book. I'm about more than halfway done. I'm just really enjoying it. Anyway, that was my Glow Up Diaries uh, week one. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you Sephora Collection for sponsoring this video. And I guess I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.